Hey guys, it's Derek. Um, today I'm actually going to be hitting on the magnifying method. Of course I got my little multi-tool. Right there is the magnifying glass that you're going to want to use. You want to make sure they're clean and you can actually see through them. Um, the biggest thing what you're going to want to do is first you're going to want to get like a small piece of like a balled up tinder and what you're going to do is take the magnifying glass and what you're going to want to do is make sure you trap the sun in through it see if I can actually get this going And you're going to want to get a magnification of light. And it's going to actually heat it up into a little ball of light, as you can see right there. It's not going to really work too well on snow because it's so cold. But you're going to want a pinpoint of light just like that. And you're going to want to hold it very still. Just so that way it will help heat your source up. And hopefully you get a fire going so like that. So that way it's like it's uh, as long as you have sunlight it will be an unlimited source. But you're going to need two things sunlight and want to do it during the day because if you do it too late in the day or too early you're not going to get a fire going you're not going to get that sunlight you're not, you're not going to get that heat um and you're not going to be able to do it while it's cloudy out only because it's blocking the sun so you're going to want to get a nice sunny day like today um another thing it's easier especially when it's warmer out only because you're going to have a little bit more to work with and it's not going to take as long to do. So uh, click like, subscribe, and I'll keep you guys posted.